Oh, oh. I think I pulled a muscle, guys. I'm too old for this. Age might be just a number, but my leg cramp is real. <laughs> Literally too old for this. Marius is what, 21? I'm 28. Can I marry his dad instead? Hey, Austin. <laughs> I put on my best lawyer chic outfit because, I mean, we only have a sample size of one, but we know Marius likes lawyers, right? <laughs> one last time, one last time, guys. Hey. <laughs> okay, anyways, cheers to that, y'all. I couldn't have real champagne because this is, in fact, a sponsored stream, so thank you very much to Cheers of Themis for sponsoring me. So this is a lavender soda with homemade lavender syrup. I'm just presenting my wifely qualities, guys. This lavender syrup, it's homemade, homegrown, okay? Everything was grown right on my balcony. <laughs> so I can guarantee it's fully organic with no pesticides ever used. And then I stripped it off and I put it in a pan and boiled it down and made syrup. And now it is this beautiful lavender soda, which I will sip instead of champagne. So thank you again for sponsoring me, Cheers of Themis, if you are watching. I don't know if they watch these guys, but I have to be on my best behavior today. What are my predictions for my own roles? Listen, I am prepared. I have a hundred roles saved. I will get my man, okay? There is zero risk of me not getting my man. I believe in backup plans. I'm extremely prepared. The lawyer cosplay extends beyond the pencil skirt and the collared shirt, okay? The lawyer cosplay is about the mindset. So we're gonna watch the, the second anniversary game trailer first, which I think announces their four anniversary cards. I've seen the art already. <laughs> I know it's a little bit raunchy. And then after we watch the trailer, we're gonna go, um, make bad financial decisions that I'm very proud of. So for those of you who don't go here, let me do a quick recap. This is the second anniversary event. On the first anniversary, the relationships got canonized. So there's four like love interests and all four of them got into a relationship with her. They're considered four kind of parallel timelines and you just kind of believe the timeline you like best, right? And then year two is where we're at now. They are now engaged and they have rings and the rings are beautiful. Before I spoiler you guys on what the rings actually look like, let's actually watch the trailer. From the time I was born, I was always the child. This is the golden retriever man. Dog coded. He says, Bork, Bork. I'll protect you. This is the first one I simped for when I launched the game. Because he seems so soft. We changed each other's lives. Like the sun and the sun. We turn around and turn around. Art, I'm so romantic. But what I want is not so much. They're all <laughs> I know all the ring cases are gorgeous, aren't they? All the voice actors blew it out of the water with these. Sorry, I was just thinking about tied up bin. <laughs> <laughs> Images you can't unsee. Oh my god, wait, Artem catches the bouquet and immediately looks at her? Okay, bro. Horse he painted her. I love Marius with his hair tucked back! <laughs> Artem's ring is my favorite. Look how beautifully designed they are! The case! 
正式的成为你的家人吗 ？I love the way he says that line. They all did so. All the voice actors did so well. That soundtrack breakdown, guys. Ooh. Break him more, break him more, Rosa. Look at the hungry look in his eyes. When Yang Tianxiang whispers, I lose years of my life. I'm so sweaty. I'm so sweaty. I'm so. I need a tall glass of water. I I want to take a moment to appreciate the voice actors. Because when I first started playing this game, I was like looking at the Japanese cast and I was like, wow, this looks like an amazing cast. Let me go listen. And I first started playing it in Japanese, but then I was like, let me just try the Chinese voice bank, right? I, I was expecting any kind of voice acting to be really cringe for a, a you know an Ultimate game, which is why I was like, oh, I better play this in Japanese. But the, there's so I like because of this game, I fell in love with Yang Tianxiang, where I'm obsessed. If it weren't for Yang Tianxiang, I don't think I would be the Mario simp I am today. Zhang Lu has also become one of my favorite voice actors ever. And he's like one of Hoyoverse's just like most prolific voice actors. He's done so many characters for Hoyoverse games. Uh, Zhang Lu voices Artem in Tears of Themis, Ayato in Genshin, Luo Cha in Star Rail, and Auto Apocalypse in Honkai Impact 3rd. He's like simultaneously the most oily, untrustworthy man in fictional media, Auto Apocalypse. And he's also the most straight-laced, steadfast, trustworthy man in fictional media, Artem Wing. <laughs> Somehow both. That is true range in a voice actor, right? Let's appreciate that for a moment, yeah? I think Chinese voice actors are so underrated and I'm really excited that the Hoyoverse games are kind of pushing them to the forefront a little bit more. And we're getting to see just like the vast expanse of talent that exists in that space that I think otherwise wouldn't have quite gotten the global audience that they did. Anyway, um, now that I'm done ranting, <laughs> let's do, uh, let's do, let's switch to the game. I wasn't kidding about being ready, guys. You see the 84 tiers at the top with the eight limited underneath and 13,802 S chips, okay? My wallet has been open. Let's go. Let's go. Here's the 10 free. I saw so many of my friends on Twitter yesterday having him come home on like a double SSR on the 10 free pulls. And I was like, there is no way. That wasn't it, right? I ain't got that kind of luck. Not on Tears of Themis anymore. Okay, that was our 10 free. Now we go. No. I, I feel like the rainbow halo is so gentle. So I'm always like squinting, like, is that a rainbow? Is it a rainbow? Is it? And it's never, it's never a rainbow. It's never, never. When you see the rainbow, you know it's there. And yet I always feel like I'm like hallucinating a phantom rainbow. You know what I mean? That gotcha experience. It's like Star Rail where the towel is really minute actually. So you're kind of like squinting in the ticket in the corner. Like, is that glitching? Is the ticket glitching? I can't tell. But when it's actually glitching, like, you know. We're going in for 30. I, you know what? I don't know. I'm prepared to go to 100. But if he comes home early, I'll... Uh, if he comes home before 50, I will kazoo careless whisper just for him. Hold on. I feel like that's more of a threat than it is a bribe. If you do not come home within 50 rolls, I will kazoo careless whisper. All right, 40. No, no, nope. All right, well, if this, if this isn't happening, then we gotta, we gotta whip the kazoo out. Yeah, no, we gotta, I'm a man of my word. <laughs> That was 50. Oh god, that card had to the, the 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 weird one. The weird this one? This one had to come back again. Anyway, I said I was prepared to go to 100, so we're just gonna keep doing that. No. <laughs> I always squint, I always pray. I'm always in copium mode. Like maybe this is it. It's 
never it. It's never. Kazoo while pulling. Trust you, it works. Okay, we'll keep going. We'll keep going for 70. I'll keep going until he comes home. <laughs> I mean, I did say I was mentally prepared to go to a hundred. So like... <sighs> no. Yes. <laughs> I can't be mad at him. Look at him. That's the most perfect world. Perfect world. Perfect man in the world. Actual hard pity. That was literally exactly poll number 100. The karmic scales are tipping back into balance. <laughs> I My luck was too good early game, guys. It was just... I had to get nerfed at some point. This is my nerfing live on stream, live in 4K. Uh, be mad at the brat, put him in his place. Listen, brats want you to have a reaction. That's what makes them brats because they enjoy it when they poke you until you're like mad at them, you know? I'm not a brat tamer, guys. This brat has me wrapped around his finger. <laughs> you can hear him. I can hear him in my head taunting me. Now that I've thoroughly embarrassed myself on stream, <laughs> thank you for joining me for this incredible two year Tears of Themis journey. And thank you to Tears of Themis again for sponsoring the video. Again, if you enjoyed the stream, throw me a bone, click the link for me. <laughs> All right, well, this morning, afternoon, or evening, have a wonderful time of day. I hope Rosa and Marius are getting it on. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye. He moves closer to you, his family. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, you know what? Challenge for me. Straight face from here. Don't break character. Read the narrator lines. I'll do it. <laughs>